Welcome to Spoken English in 30 Days, today is day 9. Learn to speak English in 30 days from basic to advanced. Practice daily English conversation, by watching our videos regularly. Presenting to you the most commonly used word and sentences in speaking. Let's master mostly used 150 sentences and 150 single and two words used while speaking in 30 days. And look for another set of words and sentences in next 30 days video playlist. Let's begin. Use take in a sentence. 1. Take it easy. 2. Take a sweater with you so you don't catch a cold. 3. I can't tell you exactly how long it will take to finish it. 4. I can't take that risk. 5. It takes about 3 days for the seeds to sprout. 6. A series of events will take place in June. 7. Don't take it seriously. 8. Let's take a rest in the shade. 9. I need to take a shower. 10. I haven't taken a shower in 3 days. 11. If you take my advice, your chances of winning will increase significantly. 12. It's important to take care of your skin. Use weather in a sentence. 1. We don't know whether he's alive or dead. 2. We have to play fair, whether we win or lose. 3. It doesn't matter whether it rains or shines, we'll be here. 4. I will come whether it snows or not. 5. I don't know whether I can do it, but I'm going to try. 6. You'll have to do it whether you like it or not. 7. I don't know whether I can do it or not, but I'll try. Dialogue, accident, 1. Have you ever been in any traffic accident? Yes, three years ago. 2. What happened? I was hit by a car while crossing the road. 3. How did you feel then? I felt really terrible because of my injuries. 4. Who was involved in the accident? The car driver, his family, inside the car, and me. 5. Did the insurance company pay for repair service? 6. I was walking so I did not require any car repair services. Did you need a lawyer? I hurt my lower back just a little, so I didn't call a lawyer. Fourteen. Did you report the issue to the police? No, we didn't want to get the police involved. Fifteen. Were you sent to the hospital after the accident? No, the injury wasn't really serious. Sixteen. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. 17. Why should people obey traffic regulations? To protect themselves and others. The best ways are to wear a helmet, wait for traffic lights and stay in the appropriate vehicle pedestrian lanes. Making complaints in English. How to complain in English 1. I'm sorry to say this but, 2. I hate to tell you but, 3. I'm angry about, 4. I have a complaint to make, 5. There seems to be a problem with, 6. I'm afraid there is a slight problem with, 7. Sorry to bother you but, 8. I'm not satisfied with, 9. Wouldn't be a good idea to, 10. There appears to be something wrong with, 11. I was expecting, but, 12. Sorry to bother you but, 13. I want to complain about, 14. I'm afraid I've got a complaint about, 15. I have to make a complaint about, 16. I don't understand why, 17. Excuse me but there is a problem, 18, would you mind? Accepting a complaint I'm so sorry, but this will never happen again. I'm sorry, we promise never to make the same mistake again. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I wish I never happened. Rejecting a complaint sorry, there is nothing we can do about it. Sorry but it's not our fault. I'm afraid there isn't much we can do about it. Repetition is the secret to English fluency if you want to quickly achieve fluency level, to speak English easily, fluently and automatically, you'll need to do one more thing, repeat again and again. It means that you will need to listen to every example sentence many, many times, until you master it. Don't listen just one time or a few times. It's not enough. You will forget it very soon. Happy learning, and continue speaking in English, until you become adept at it.